Hi, I'm Beatrice Go Rappler's multimedia sports reporter, and today I'm going to be training like an elite swimmer under quarantine. Hi guys, so this is my friend Roxanne Yu. Hi everyone. Yeah, she was a former national team swimmer and she's the one who's going to coach me today. Am I gonna die? Of course. Okay, I'm so scared, but then let us get right to it! The focus in the activation part of the exercise is to kind of be able to uh, stretch out the ankle. It's a very important aspect, especially being a swimmer, you need to have or it's better if you have uh, flexible ankles to make sure those like kicks are a lot more solid. And um, so back when I was still training, before the SEA Games, I trained in China and I did these um, ankle activation exercises that I've never done in my entire life. So it was actually very new to me. In the last stretch of my swimming career, that's when I started doing these crazy ankle activations that I've never done before, but they've really helped me a lot. Okay, I am gonna try. Don't force yourself because you, your like ankles aren't used to that exercise. There, I did it once. I kind of kept in mind that not everyone has these equipments at home. Like a jump rope, I didn't actually have one, but I found these like these these balls that were a lot heavier than um, an actual jump rope and just added weight, you know. And so it kind of is able to simulate kind of a jump rope without the actual rope, if that makes sense. Hi, Nias. Hi, Nias. Okay. Jump rope! In a jump rope? Oh my god! How do you even do this? You just go like... Okay, okay, okay. I wanna see you do it. Oh no, I do it! A lot of swimmers, they've already encountered stretch cords and I didn't have one but I have these like bands uh, that don't have the same high resistance as the stretch cords but kind of simulate the water feel and so it's important to kind of be able to do these exercises because you don't have a pool right now obviously and so being able to use these stretch cords and kind of um, try to go through the motions of how you swim in the water is kind of very essential during this time. You should be in streamline. <laughs> I think you're supposed to hold it back for five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> The explosive things I decided to put them in the end of the workout mostly because I think the way I kind of looked at it was um, you know how in a race you have the last 25 meters and usually a lot of people are so tired by the end of the race everyone's just like oh my gosh how am I gonna finish this and I wanted to keep in mind um, that it's important to keep that kind of endurance level up and that like last sprint finish Okay, so I just finished my workout with rocks and wow, that was tiring. <sighs> I used to do the same workouts that, but then like there are some difficult parts, like for example, the ankle activation or even like just from the start, the stretching, like when you were making me do the pigeon and you told me to lift my whole leg, I was like, what is this? And I felt like, for example, the jump rope. You know, I do the normal jump rope, but then when you asked me to do the high knees, I was just like, oh, I look so stupid. Like, it's not it's not supposed to be slow, but I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I mean, there's definitely a lot more motivation when you have someone there pushing you and being there alongside you whilst doing the exercises. So it's 
nice having someone, especially during quarantine when you're all alone and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to exercise today. But it was nice having you along. Adding this workout, especially during at the time of quarantine, was really helpful as well because I did not well, you know, like you do get bored at home and I think like people just need to move around a bit and be excited for something and if working out is something that excites you, I do recommend that you'll try this workout.